Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Allison Watkins of AllisonWatkinsCoaching.com and I'm a career alignment strategist. And today I'm talking about how to be confident in your interviews. And if you're one of those people that struggled a little bit with confidence in your interviews, trust me, you're not alone. Most people get nervous in interviews, but if you wanna be the one that gets the call back or ultimately the job offer, then stay tuned because I'm gonna be teaching you three things that I think are key in being able to communicate and be less anxious and more confident in your interviews. So I've been a corporate recruiter in the corporate America space for over five years. I've done that, I've been on the interview chair, I've helped hundreds of managers make these interview decisions um, based on interviews on how to select people for their roles. So I've got a little background and I also recently interviewed for one of my dream positions. So I have some relevant experience that I wanna share with you guys. And if you think someone could use this information, go ahead and click that share button because I wanna make sure that they get the help so they can get the job offer as well. My first tip in being confident in your interviews is 100% being able to convey and communicate who you are. And not just who you are, but who you are as it relates to the job that you're applying for. And I can't tell you how crucial this is, guys, because this is one of the first things that I start with with my coaching clients. And you may think it's like unrelated because you're like, okay, let's get into the resume, let's get into the job search strategy. I want you to be 100% confident in who you are so that you can go out and look for the jobs that are the best fit for you. And it is very evident to a hiring manager or a recruiter, if you can't convey who you are in relation to this job, they're looking for a fit. Not just someone that can do the job, but that can convey a passion for what you're applying for. The next tip I wanna share is I want you to make sure that you can relate your experience directly to this position. And by that, I mean, you're gonna be asked several examples in the interview, right? And you wanna make sure that those examples are building a case to why you are an expert in this role and how you have relevant experience that directly correlates with what you'd be doing in the position. So again, you may have had several roles you know, there's various positions that you've done on your resume, but you wanna hone in on those positions that are so relevant to this job that it sounds like you'd be walking in, hitting the ground running. So again, focus on the relevant experience that you bring to the position. And the final thing I wanna talk about is being able to communicate your value. And again, this goes back to everyone's making sure that you can do the role, but that you're also a fit for the role. And not just the role, but the company as well as the team. So along with knowing who you are, I want you to be very clear on the value and the strengths that you bring to the position. Again, this goes back to, this is who I am, these are the strengths that I have, and so Knowing that you're very clear about who you are, you can very confidently talk about your strengths. Maybe you're an excellent communicator, you're great at execution, and you know how to ask a lot of great questions. If those are values and strengths that correlate to that role, that's almost like a message that you want to be able to weave throughout the interview. It will also help to make you very memorable because you're going to be bringing up a theme of these values and strengths that you have throughout your interviews, regardless of who you're interviewing with. They'll hear that same theme and those values come out. So again, guys, I mentioned I recently interviewed, so I always tell you anything I'm experiencing or that I have you know, maybe struggled with in the past, I always come and bring you these nuggets. And about two weeks ago, I had interviews, I was uber nervous, and I had to think about all these things that I'm telling you. How do I tell them who I am? How do I make the experience that I have relevant to the role? And how do I express and communicate my values and strengths as it pertains to this position? And I will tell you guys, even though I've had experience in recruiting and being in the interview chair, it is always a great thing to be able to practice, but to remember how you communicate your value. So I really hope that this was helpful for you guys. 
down in the comments below, tell me what makes you not so confident in interviews. I'd love to help you with some more interview tips. And I'm also on Instagram. So make sure that you guys are following me on Instagram. When I'm not posting videos, I'm on there um, interacting with you guys and posting some additional valuable content. I hope that you will subscribe to my channel as well as follow me on Instagram. And I will see you in another video. Bye guys.